Nuke has viewer processes which allow you to put pre-processing operations on your linear images before they're displayed in the viewer. The point is, the original data is untouched. It's just a viewer presentation thing. This is usually used to apply a LUT to an image, but as we'll see, you can do much more than that. Now there are two types of these viewer processes, an input process and a viewer process. We'll look at the input process first because it's quick and easy to do. We'll start by adding a color lookup node to Marcy. Select Marcy, go to the color tab, and add a color lookup node. Let's say I'd like to adjust her appearance by editing this curve to look like that. All right. I connected the lookup curve to Marcy so I could see the effect on her. But to use it as an input process, it must be disconnected. This is very important. Now there are two ways you can tell Nuke to use this as an input process. The first method is simply rename the node Viewer Input. When Nuke sees a node named Viewer Input, all caps, case sensitive here, suddenly the IP Input Process button is now active. Again, it must not be connected to anything else. It's a free floating node. To look at the second method, we'll put the name back to color lookup, and now you can see it doesn't see it at all as I toggle the IP button on and off. So the second method is select the node, go up to the edit menu, down to node, and select use as input process. And now, toggling it on and off, you can see it's active again. The advantage to using the viewer input name is you can tell which node it is. If you use this method, you won't really know which node in your flow graph is the viewer input. So the input process that we just saw is good for rapid development. It's quick and it's easy. The downside is the node is easily changed or lost. An artist could edit it or delete it accidentally, and it's also not good for work groups. For that, we need to take a look at the viewer process. So first we'll delete the color lookup node. As of Nuke 5.2, the viewer process was introduced. So let's see how we can build our own viewer process. First, I'm going to set the viewer LUT to none. We're now looking at the raw linear image. I'll zoom out a little bit, make some room. I'll select Marcy. Now the first thing I have to do is replace that sRGB lookup. So I'll go to the color tab, get a color space node, and set it for sRGB. Okay, because I want the color space conversion to happen inside my viewer process. Next, let's add a color lookup node. So we'll go to color, color lookup. So let's say I want to use the color lookup node to give Marcy a much warmer look. So I'll select the blue color channel, select the curve, and pull some blue out of the picture to warm her up nicely. And just to make it interesting, let's add one more operation, a blur node and we'll set the blur to 10. All right. So these three nodes are going to make up the custom viewer process that I want to create and I'm going to put it right here in the viewer pop-up list. The first step is to select the nodes and turn them into a group. Command G. Then we'll export them as a gizmo. So we'll come up to export gizmo and I'm going to give it a name. Let us call this Marcy Soft. Marcy soft. And of course we're observing Nuke naming conventions by starting with a capital letter for a gizmo. All right, so we'll say save that. I now have a gizmo saved called Marcy Soft. The next step is we have to register the gizmo with Python. And the way we do that is we edit the init.py file. I've already entered the line in here, so I'm just going to comment it in. This is the Python command that will register a gizmo to go into the viewer LUT list. This field here is the name you'll see in the pop-up in the viewer. And this field here is the exact name of the gizmo, keeping in mind that it's case sensitive. Okay, we'll save this to disk, close that, and now we'll have to restart Nuke before we'll see it entered in the pop-up list. 
Okay, I've restarted Nuke and reloaded my script. We now come up to the viewer pop-up list and there's Marcy Soft. Select that and there is our custom viewer process. So the advantage of the viewer process method is that it's not going to be accidentally changed by an artist. Also, you can have one copy that's centrally located, so it's the best method for sharing with a work group.